Hi guys, it's Marie from Thankful to Live and I wanted to share my coconut milk recipe. And this recipe is um, a very soothing milk that I take for when I have joint pain and bone pain. Um, and it's delicious. And I wanna share it especially with those people who deal with arthritis and fibromyalgia and any type of chronic pain. Um, it's just a, a, an amazing drink. It's very soothing. It literally makes my bones and my joints warm up. It just makes me feel good. So um, if it can help someone else out there, then that'll be great. So what you're going to use is coconut milk. And I use unsweet coconut milk. I sweeten it with honey instead of whatever sugar they use to sweeten milks these days because I believe it's better for your health. Um, and then, so what you do, you pour some coconut milk in a cup. I choose this one because it's my teaching cup that one of my students got me and it's special to me and it feels nice and warm when I put my hands around it. It's just very special. Um, so then once you have your milk, Oh, and by the way, I'm going to warm it up in the microwave, but some people don't like to use the microwave, and you can do this in a pot on the stove, so that's fine. Let me get a spoon. So the first thing, the, the main ingredient for this is the ginger. And ginger has anti-inflammatory properties, so that's why I like it. So I put about half teaspoon of ginger, ginger powder. You can also use the regular ginger. Um, I have some in my yard, but it's there. I didn't. I didn't take it. I didn't go out and get it because it's raining. So I figured I'd use the powder one anyway. Um, cinnamon. I'm gonna use just a little bit, not a lot, because I like to. I like the ginger to be the strongest flavor in my milk. But if you choose, um, if you like cinnamon better, then you, you can do cinnamon. So I put about this much cinnamon in mine. It's like half of a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And cinnamon also has antiseptic properties and antibacterial properties. Turmeric is another great ingredient for um, reducing inflammation and pain. So half, a little bit less than half, nah, like half of a half. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm using for that. Because again, I want my ginger to the, be the main taste. Bone broth. I know some of you may say nah, and I agree. So that's why I'm only going to use a little bit. But you don't. You can skip this ingredient altogether if you're not into putting bone broth in your coconut milk. Um, this really, t it's like a dessert to me. When I taste it, it reminds me of... Uh, majarete or tembleque, which are, which are two Puerto Rican desserts that we eat usually during Christmas in the island. And then I'm going to put about a tablespoon, the equivalent of about a teaspoon of honey. Yep. And I like to put vanilla in it, and this one is gluten-free, and I just put a couple drops of vanilla. Again, because I want to have that Christmassy, Christmas spices flavor to it. So then I mix all the ingredients nice, nicely mixed. They're kind of going to stick on the top for a little bit, but you just keep mixing it. And then I'm going to put it in the microwave for about two minutes. Um, I like it nice and warm, but of course I don't want to burn my tongue. So that's it. And so it's going to be in the microwave for two minutes, and then it's going to come out and be awesome and amazing. Like I told my students, awesome and amazing. So I'm going to put it in there for two minutes. And, um, and then once it comes out, mix it again. Make sure that um, you don't burn your tongue and enjoy it. You know, go lay in bed with a warm robe like I do. I put on my robe when my bones and my joints hurt and I take my my coconut milk and I drink it and it just it's just very soothing. It makes me feel better. So I hope this helps you. I hope you try it and I hope you feel better and you remember me and you subscribe. 
All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Besitos.